Have you ever noticed how each college and university has its own identity, kind of like its own type of students? For instance, when you hear its name, you can't help but think of a certain phrase or image to describe it. That's because over time, these colleges and universities have been able to develop their own reputations. For instance, think about Louisiana State University. This college is widely known for their domination at collegiate football. They're also known for producing many athletes who continue on as professionals in their industry. So take Shaquille O'Neal for example. Before he played in the NBA, he actually started at center for the LSU Tiger basketball team. He then went on to play for the Lakers, the Heat, the Celtic, and the Magic. Along with Shaq was Jamarcus Russell, who was the starting quarterback for the Oakland Raider football team. And along with him was Johnny Pott, the five-time PGA Golf Tour champion. So it is the success of all of these athletes that have helped Louisiana State University develop its athletic reputation. Now I want you to think about Stanford. When you think of this Ivy League school in California, you know that they produce many you know, academics, scholars, and many politicians as well. So as you can see here, Sandra Day O'Connor graduated from Stanford before becoming the first female Supreme Court Justice of the United States of America. In addition to Sandra Day O'Connor was Herbert Hoover, who was our nation's 31st president. And it is the prestige of these two individuals and many more who have helped develop Stanford's scholarly reputation. On the other hand, I want you to think about Arizona State University. Now this school is known for their wild nightlife and thriving social scene. In fact, it has often been described as Barbie and Ken go to college, meaning that many of the students place a larger emphasis on the social aspect of college than the educational aspect. Two of its most notable alumni include Jimmy Kimmel and David Spade. Now, for those of you who don't know Jimmy Kimmel, he graduated from ASU before hosting his own comedic talk show called Jimmy Kimmel Live. David Spade is one of Comedy Central's most renowned actors, and you probably have seen him in Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, or on Saturday Night Live. And it is the influence that these two men and others have had on our nation that has helped Arizona State University develop its spunky reputation. So what about UMR? What is our reputation here? How will we as students, faculty, and staff be perceived by the community, the state, and even the nation in the years to come? Well, I have news for you. As a new institution, we have the ability to shape our own reputation through our actions, our achievements, and our attitudes. And it's my goal, and it should be all of ours too, to develop the reputation of producing hardworking professionals who have a deep desire to aid others in the field of healthcare. So I'm gonna tell you how we can do that. There are three main ways, like I talked about, our actions, our achievements, and our attitudes. So first, I'm gonna discuss our actions within the community. The first action is one that should be taken by students, and it's through volunteerism. Now, volunteering sheds a positive light not only on the individual doing the volunteering, but on the institution that they are associated with. So, when you and our students go out into the community to volunteer, it is reflected positively on those individuals, as well as the University of Minnesota Rochester. So it is very important that our students are volunteering within the community. And the good news is, most UMR students are already doing that. We actually have a program set up here at UMR to help students seek out these opportunities within the community, and it's called Raptor Recruits. Now, Raptor Recruits was created in the spring of 2011 by two of our very own students, Patricia Gadsden and Julie Reisinger. So over the past year, they've helped several students seek out sustainable volunteer opportunities within the community that they can use to put on resumes later or just to feel good about themselves. 
So within the past year, they've helped students find opportunities at Mayo Clinic, the Boys and Girls Club, Gift of Life Transplant House, Paws and Claws, Salvation Army, the Ronald McDonald House, and that's just to name a few. So as this group keeps growing, they have a new goal for next year, and that is to develop one-time volunteer opportunities for the students. This way, they can go out in the community and have a wide variety of experiences and then pick one that best suits their strengths. So by doing this, students are going out into the community, helping us build the reputation we want here at UMR, all you know, through a really easy process that we already have set up at this school. Now, Raptor Recruits has actually helped me find my volunteer opportunity at Gift of Life Transplant House. And it's really fun. I work reception there, but my main job is just to talk to the patients. So it's really fun when they come in and, you know, I just talk about the school because many of them are from out of the state and even out of the country. So they love hearing about what UMR, UMR has to offer the students and they get really excited about it. So that is a great way for us to spread our name to the rest of the world. Now, the second way we can act is by hosting public events. Now, hosting public events promotes both community involvement and community awareness of our campus here at UMR. Now, we also have a program at UMR designated to hosting events on campus, and it's called UMR Connects. It meets every Tuesday night at 7 p.m., so you should all go. Uh, and they bring a wide variety of people on campus to talk about a wide variety of subjects. So, for example, last week, or this Tuesday, they had Sandy Shores come in, and she talked about her best-selling book, Growing and Selling Fresh Cut Herbs. So it appealed to a lot of gardening people within the community. They were able to come here and learn about the benefits of growing herbs at your own home for your own cooking. Um, some of the people of the past that UMR Connects has brought to our campus include a former FBI agent, a survivor of the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center, many students from UMR have talked at UMR Connects, and then so many more different people. Um, since March 2011, when it was established, UMR Connects has brought almost 2,000 people to our campus who are from the outside community, which is just awesome. It really helps us you know, spread our mission and make others aware of what we can do with the students that we have here. So it's really helping us build a strong reputation that we want. Now the third mode of action we can take is by encouraging our students to have responsible citizenship. And basically this means abiding by the law. And so far we have not had too much trouble with this because our school is so small and we don't have that many students. But it's really important to um, promote you know, responsible citizenship to our students as it continues to grow. Um, our students should also be acting as responsible members of society, so learning, keeping up to date on current events, knowing what's going on in the community, knowing what's going on in politics so they can vote, and things like that. All of these things together will help us establish a good reputation for UMR. And we actually, the best way for students to do this is by having a united front when they go out in the public. This way they can all, you know, keep their ideas and everything together so they can act responsibly in large groups and they can, you know, spread the word about our school. So we do have um, a program here that helps students learn these things and it's the Rochester Student Association, also known as RSA. And this was created by Evan Doyle in 2010 and it took a lot of work. It started out um, with just him being the student senator for our school and now has grown to have over 20 people be involved. Um, it teaches the students a lot of really, really valuable skills that they can use both in the future and now. So some of those skills include leadership. Um, RSA has many different committees where students lead the committees and help, um, help perform certain tasks. So for example, one group is responsible, responsible for allocating money to different student groups. Another one is responsible for um, providing necessary materials for students to study. For, so for the whiteboards at 318 that we got, that was all from RSA. So this leadership that it promotes will really help us establish ourselves with a good reputation. Another thing RSA does is it promotes community involvement. So like I was discussing earlier, the student senator role is this person is responsible for being in close contact with representatives from Duluth, Crookston, Morris, and the Twin Cities. This way they can spread you know, new things that are going on at UMAR to the other sister campuses. This way we can spread our word too. RSA also promotes um, incentive to vote because 
students, as they're a part of RSA, they become you know, more knowledgeable about politics and what's going on. So this will provide them with a larger incentive to vote for you know, our state governor and our nation's president, things like that. RSA also helps students practice responsible citizenship by making them become aware of issues within the community, the state, the nation, and even the globe. So overall, RSA is a really great way for students to practice this responsible citizenship that will help us develop the reputation we want here at UMR. Last year, uh, during my sophomore year in our CLI course, Jenny Heglin set up a mock interview um, that all students had to do. And for my mock interview, I was interviewed by um, a member of the Mayo Med School and she interviewed me just as if I was a student applying for the medical school and I got instant feedback she let me know how I can get an edge up on the competition it was just overall really helpful and I've actually used those skills that I learned in that class to secure a job for myself next year so I mean these skills are just incredible that we get through hands-on experience uh, another one I can think of that stands out in my mind was my first year in our integrative biology course. Dr. Metzger had us do like this bean experiment to help us learn about independent assortment, which is a pretty not boring concept, but I mean, not a lot of students are interested in it. But it really helped me, like it stuck with me, and I'm able to, you know, remember these details and then apply them later in life just because of the hands-on activity I get in the classroom. So all of these things that we do to obtain our knowledge will help us develop you know, the reputation of becoming an academically successful school. So the other way we can achieve is by receiving awards, which means that 96% of our students here at UMR are on track to graduate in four years or less, which is huge. So this Finish in Four initiative promotes students to do better in school so they can qualify for the scholarship, so that increases the overall GPA of the school. This increase in GPA leads to higher gradu graduation rates in the future. Higher GPAs and higher graduation rates will ensure higher acceptance levels to professional and graduate schools in the future. And all of these things together will help us establish the reputation we want for UMR. The last way we have the ability to shape our reputation is through our reactions and our attitudes. Faculty and staff, keep this positive attitude to keep everything rolling. This way our reputation will only be enhanced. Now, the best group on our campus to help promote this positive attitude is the UMR Ambassadors Program. It was started in 2009 by a member of our admission staff, Molly Olson, and basically the UMR Ambassadors are responsible for giving tours and helping out with visit days and just keeping the excitement in the atmosphere here at UMR. Now, I am an ambassador and I didn't realize how much passion I had for the school until I gave a tour to a group of people from my hometown. Now, I hadn't seen these people in probably three or four years. So after the tour, they came up to me and they said, we had no idea people could be so passionate about such a new and small school. And then I was thinking about it. Of course I'm passionate about this school. Everyone here is, otherwise we wouldn't be here today. So we need to keep that going, keep this positive energy flowing, so that way our reputation is enhanced. The second positive attitude that we need to keep is after we graduate. So this doesn't apply to anyone yet, but it's very important for us to think about. And there are three main ways we can keep this positive attitude after our graduation. The first is through donation. And it's really important that as successful professionals in the future, we donate back to the school to show our ongoing appreciation and gratitude for the education we've received here. So they, these donations can help expand the school, hire new faculty members that are necessary to enhance the education, you know, get new technology, everything to benefit the school. I'm confident that over time we will develop the reputation of an academically successful school with UMR's own unique flair because we are so different. So how will you contribute to this reputation? As faculty members, how does your presentation of curriculum affect the way students will respond to you? As students, how does your engagement in the community reflect upon yourself and upon the school? And as UMR affiliates, how are the decisions you're making affecting the school now and in the future? Well, I have news for you. As a new institution, we can do something about it now. So let's be sure to develop the reputation we want for the University of Minnesota Rochester. Thank you.